Okay, so here's what we got. In the MSO map, we got all zeros in all the fuel maps, upper, lower, IEP, and TPS. We got all zeros in the timing maps, all cylinders. The MSO is the default map. You can see we got nothing plugged into the KDS plug. The MS1 map, which should switch to it when you put the jumper in, it's all stock. So, the box will not start. Watch this. Alright, that's the MSO. It won't start. Okay? That's what we would think it would do. Now, if we put the jumper in, guess what? It still won't start because it's not switching to the MS1, and I know why. And the reason it's not switching to the MS1 is it will not switch on the fly. You've got to turn off the key, wait a few minutes, well not a few minutes, a few seconds, and then you turn the key back on. Now I'm running on MS1. And you can even pull the jumper out. The bike will continue to run on MS1. Until the bike is shut off. Once you shut the bike off and you wait a few seconds, the bike will not start because it's now going to default back to MSO. So it won't start. Now we're going to leave the key on, plug the jumper in. Bike still will not start because the map has not defaulted to MS1 because we haven't cycled the key. Cycle the key, jumpers in, wait a few seconds, turn the key on, bike will start right up. So, MSO MS1 does not switch on the fly. You have to recycle it. I guess they assumed that people wouldn't be doing that. Like I say, even if you pull the jumper out while it's running, it will remain an MS-1. It will remain an MS-1 until you shut the bike off. Or you can turn that kill switch off. Turn kill switch back on. Bike fires right up. It's only when you cut off the key and recycle it, it goes back to MSO. Now it will not start. So we'll shut the bike off, install the jumper, when we turn the key on, it will default back to MS1, and the bike will start up. So the map switching from MSO to MS1 when we install that jumper is not switching on the fly got to uh, cycle the power from the key. Not sure how that's going to do me flying down the freeway and wanting to switch from a stock map to a nitrous map. I have to stop, turn off the key, turn the key back on. That's how that would have to work. But the changes are going to the ECU because uh, I got everything zeroed out in MSO and the bike won't run. So that's pretty obvious. Okay.